Hi guys, welcome along. Um, we're just gonna, we're just on a client shoot here today in uh, one of our uh, many clients in the food sector. Um, and we just thought it'd be interesting to give you a behind the scenes look at some of the stuff we do uh, when we're on site, on, on set, doing some video production. Uh, in today's scenario, we are doing a lot of food, a lot of cocktails, uh, some, some coffee montage stuff. So uh, we've got a mixture of shots going on. We're gonna talk you through what we're gonna be doing, uh, some of the setups, and uh, yeah, just give you a wee bit of a behind the scenes uh, look at how, how we do uh, what we do in terms of video production, in terms of photo, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for coming along for um, having a look. So um, first thing we're gonna do, guys, James, if you wanna follow me on down, we're just gonna, yeah, come ahead, come ahead, yeah. So uh, the restaurant's in a busy service here right now. We're not gonna get in the way of anyone, so we're just gonna quickly give you guys a look behind, and um, hopefully we're not gonna get in too many people's ways. Thanks, Mario. Okay, so if you wanna come on down here and follow me, James. So we've done um, basically a food hero shot here um, of the table. All the main course dishes are out at the moment. Um, we spent some time doing some set design. So if you come around to me, James. Yeah. So we've done some time on, on set design here. Uh, everything's positioned as it should be. Drinks are fresh and kind of looking at their most vibrant. Uh, we've got cocktails you know, garnishes on food and so on. So what we did on this, and uh, I'll cut to some of the actual real life footage once we've, uh, once we've done the edit. We uh, have done a top down shot of this whole set. Um, and we've done that with um, a frame that we use to get a lot of height. Uh, we're lucky in this scenario here, we've got a room with a lot of height. Um, to play with, so uh, the client in this scenario has is, is lucky with uh, space and um, available space that we can use to, to get some different shots and quirky shots um, to really show off, you know, the food offering, which is really really top notch. Um, so in terms of lighting setups, what we're using here today is um, right to my left, we have the Aperture 300D Mark II. It's um, it's a staple. Um, of what, what of my work. Um, so in our in our repertoire, we have um, four, possibly five, definitely four of these lights for larger video productions uh, where we need to light a lot more space. Um, this is what we're using, um, all on um, high quality century century stands. So that's a C stand for some of the people in the industry will call it that. Um, so yeah, once again, it's all industrial grade, um, very safe, uh, can carry a lot of weight, and it has a very small footprint. So again, in busy environments when we're filming and the client has a busy operation happening, you know, equipment like this is absolutely key in terms of helping us do our work safely and, um, you know, as least interruption to the client as possible. So um, if you want to follow me on around, I'll just show you some of where we've um, put our gear here for the day. It's, um, it's all a bit messy, but um, try not to get too worried about the mess, I suppose. So on today's set, we have, um, we're using two lights. Uh, our main light um, is the Aperture Nova P300C. Um, again, we have uh, two of these lights, great lights, um, RGB effects, uh, just really versatile, strong, robust, we'll give you a look at it. It's actually set up across the way. Um, we've just got kind of, this is an area which is for, for, for camera gear, for spare stands, charging points, um, camera supports, just general kind of gaffer stuff to, um, to you know, do the production that we need to do. Um, so yeah, we'll go on over now. I'll just show you where we've got our our Nova setup. So we've been using the Nova on this particular production. So James, if you want to take a step back across the way, it's actually up quite high here, and it's probably quite blown out. So the the Nova panel is. Um, I'll just twist it around just to take away a bit of exposure away. Um, really powerful light. We've been using the Nova panel on this particular job. Um, 
to recreate some evening light, which is very sort of uh, orange, warm light. Um, in particular for the hero shot that we did earlier on on the evening, uh, on the evening menu. So it's, um, again, it, it gives an accent onto that uh, shot, which I'll be able to cut away to now and, and show you. It's really sort of more interesting look than your standard, you know, daylight balanced, uh, you know, COB lights. Um, it gives a lot more dimension and, uh, you know, atmosphere to a shot. Um, so it's such a versatile light. Again, we used it for morning shots as well for, for the breakfast menu, which is, um, you know, a different color tone again. And it's just, it's just all these little things add up, you know, so when we cut away to some of the footage, you'll be able to see not only our lighting, not only, uh, you know, camera framing and positioning, it's actually coming down to, you know, the finesse of sound effects that we add in, the quality of the music that we're using, um, that goes together to add it all, you know, uh, and, and create something that looks, you know, the way that the client wants it to look. So, you know, and uh, when we're out here on set and, and working on projects like this, it's very much, you know, the quality of the end product, uh, you know, there's a relationship between that and between the input that the client has on the day of shooting. You know, it's, it's absolutely crucial uh, to the success of anything. When we're talking about video production or when we're talking about other aspects of what we do in Zoma, you know, website design, digital marketing, that the, the client has an input uh, right from the very start of the project to the very end. And, um, you know, it's great we're out here today and uh, thankfully, you know, that's, that's the way we've been working things today. And as we're shooting, the client gets to see exactly the frame and makes decisions and um, gives me guidance, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's very much give and take. So um, we're just gonna turn around now. This is um, the cocktail bar. Again, it's actually not dressed, guys. So um, please don't think that this is uh, what we're gonna be shooting. But we've got a number of different cocktails that we've done here. And um, what we're actually doing is we're doing three different shoots. So from the cocktail menu that the client's chosen to present, we're actually shooting three ty different types of content. We're shooting um, a flat lay, we're shooting uh, a macro, and then we're actually shooting a small explainer, which the barista, or you know, in this case, the cocktail, um, cocktail uh, mixologist is actually gonna talk about the ingredients that goes into every cocktail and um, you know a big part of what the client does here is that it's um, everything's freshly made in-house and um, you know we've tailored content around that to actually illustrate that it is freshly made in-house you know and so it's, it's just a strategy and um, it's a way of um, I suppose highlighting through the use of visuals in terms of video and photo um, you know what your culture is what your business does um, you know, it's a, I suppose, what we get an awful lot of is when we arrive on sets, gosh, um, we didn't think it's as much equipment involved in, you know, doing what we're doing. And, and that's the common misconception, I suppose, is like, you know, at different levels of the market, you know, it's great that camera phones can take very quick, very sharp, you know, images, videos nowadays. Um, and that's brilliant for, you know, filling up on your social media feeds, be it your Instagram feeds or be it your TikToks. That kind of content is performing really well. But when it comes to, uh, just mind your back there, James. Um, when it comes to, you know, uh, showing off your product in a premium way, it's not just about, you know, having a really good camera phone. All these other things come into play. It's about the quality of the lighting you're using. It's about the actual ratios of the lights in the frame that actually make that image look um, contrasted, make, give it depth, give it emotion, give it feeling. And, and that kind of content isn't for your TikTok, your Instagram. It's actually, it's for a different audience. It's for your website. It's for, you know, um, it's for your, your different YouTube channels, whatever you, um, it's for advertising. You know, and it's, it's important to distinguish between them because what we're not trying to say here by showing behind the scenes is that um, we're better than your camera phone uh, kind of uh, content. They're two different things. That's what we're trying to really get across. So, um, look guys, thanks for dropping by. Um, we're gonna have more of these coming in the future. Um, hope you enjoyed um, seeing a little bit of what we do. Um, 
maybe uh, going forward we'll uh, be able to show you some of the pre-production uh, meetings that we do with clients which are so crucial um, and so much planning and detail goes into those um, and yeah so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks very much